What's up you guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you for coming over and watching another fragrance video with me. If you love fragrances, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bells. My name is Amanda Marie and today we're going to be talking about ouds. Alright, so as you read from the title, I guess ouds are in now. Okay, you guys are so funny. Y'all are so funny and the reason why I say y'all funny is because when I first started doing fragrance reviews, nobody wanted to get into ooze. Like literally nobody was checking for ooze. Y'all wasn't checking for ooze, okay? Back then, which it wasn't that long ago, probably going on about three or four years now since I've been uh, reviewing fragrances for you guys, whenever ooze were mentioned, it was always like a ooh, it, it smells stinky, it smells like animal, it smells like a barnyard, it's just ooh, 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 ooh. Now, ooze are like the thing. You guys are loving ooze. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a few oud fragrances that I think are really, really great and you need to get into them, okay? So if you're interested, keep watching. Let's go back a little bit, okay? What is an oud for all of my new babies that are new to my channel, okay? And thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that button, okay? That subscribe button. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with what an oud is, I will pop up a photo so you can kind of get an idea of what an oud is. Basically, and this is just from my understanding, it's not like I'm an expert on ouds and all those good things. I've done some research, not extensive research, but your girl has researched it. So from my understanding, oud is a wood, okay? Not only is it a wood, it is a very expensive piece of wood. And oftentimes when you find an oud fragrance that you love, and I mean a fabulous oud fragrance, a smooth oud fragrance, because there are some ouds out there that are pretty rough, okay? Like, <clears throat> but when you find you a nice, smooth, elegant oud. It may be mixed in with a little rose or a little saffron or something else. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, that oud is gonna come with a hefty price. And here's why. Ouds are very expensive. Even though, yes, it's an old piece of wood that has aged for a very, very, very long time, that wood is expensive. So oftentimes it will cost a perfumer a lot of money to make an oud fragrance for the mass, for everybody. I have, over the years, found a couple of affordable ouds, which I'm gonna mention in this video, that you might wanna try, especially if you're someone that is entering in the world of ouds now, and you just really don't wanna spend a lot of coin on the oud. You just kinda of wanna, you know, test drive it a little bit. So I will mention some affordable oud fragrances for you guys later on in the video. But yeah, that is my understanding of an oud fragrance. It's just a very expensive piece of wood. I feel like in my mind, there's not an abundance of old age woods, okay, where perfumers can extract the oud and make their fragrances and things like that. Oud is not only in fragrances. A lot of you guys are getting into Bacor. I hope I'm saying that right. Me personally, I love Bacor. Um, there's actually an Arabian Oud store here in Houston that I visited a couple of times and I've actually contemplated buying me a burner and buying me a couple of pieces of Bacor. Basically, you put the little wood chips in the Bacor. Well, you put the, you have a burner and you have the little charcoal you put in the burner and it also comes with where well, you buy them separately child the little pieces of wood <laughs> is not cheap and i want to say they sell it by the ounce or something like that i don't know but i went in there and i priced it and i thought about buying a bakura you can get um the bakura and the wood chips and the burner you can get all of that for the low 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 i'm sure on amazon honey because at this point you can find anything under the sun on amazon but yes i know you guys are into bakura 
The bakur, the wood chips are actually considered oud as well. I wanted to give you guys some information on what an oud is before we actually dive into this video. So because I mentioned some affordable ouds, let's go ahead and start with those. Okay, the first one I wanna mention is Shagoth Oud. The bottle is all gold, so it's gonna reflect on camera, but this is a beautiful bottle. I love the gold. I purchased this fragrance probably about three years ago, and I got it from Fragrance Net. I tried to get it on Amazon, but at the time it was sold out because everybody was talking about it, and it's often compared to uh, fragrances like uh, Lancome's Oud Bouquet. So in this fragrance, you're gonna get a lot of Oud. I wanna say there's about three mentions of Oud in this fragrance, vanilla in this fragrance, there's rose. This is a beautiful fragrance, and for the price point, I mean, you really can't beat it. I think the Oud in this fragrance is very smooth. Now, I'm not gonna steer you guys wrong. This fragrance is very, very loud, okay? And that's another thing about ouds. Ouds can be very consuming. They can be a little bit obnoxious. They can be very loud. They project like any other note in fragrances that I've ever smelled before. Ouds are very, very loud. Some of them can be a little off-putting at times. It just depends on what it's blended with, in my opinion. If you have Oud Bouquet in your collection, more than likely you don't need this fragrance, and I think it is simply beautiful. This type of weather, the cool weather, the cold weather, is really the perfect time to explore ouds and wear fragrances like this, especially for nighttime wear. I think this will be a good one. So again, this is Shag Off Oud by Swiss Arabian. So this one I actually purchased off of Amazon, and I want to say at the time, I haven't had it that long. At the time, it was running about $40 to $45. Now you guys know every time influencers get on the platforms and start talking about all these amazing fragrances, the prices go up. That is just the way of the world, okay? What is it called? Supply and demand. Y'all know how it go. If you don't know, Google it, okay? <laughs> Google it. But this is Oud for Glory and it's by La Tapa. I think this is another amazing fragrance as well for the price point you can't beat it this one is said to be a dupe for uh Inicio's oud for glory greatness i don't think i've smelled oud for greatness yet and that's the thing about me sometimes i'll purchase oh my god this smells so good sometimes i will purchase a dupe and I'll fall in love with it. And then in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, I got the dupe. I really don't need to run out and spend $300 on the real thing. I'll just use the dupe. And at some point, I'll add the real thing into my collection. Uh, Inicio is very expensive, but again, I think this is a great dupe. Okay, so in this one, you're gonna have oud, you're gonna have saffron, you're gonna have lavender, and you're gonna have patchouli and musk, okay? Patchouli in itself is a beast mode note in fragrance. I know a lot of you guys don't care for patchouli either, but I will tell you what, in this fragrance, the oud and patchouli, they marry very well. I don't know why I use the word marry, maybe because I wanna get married one day. But they make a great team. They make a great combination in this fragrance. And surprisingly, for this to be an affordable oud fragrance, it smells super expensive. I mean, it's warm, it's spicy, it has that beautiful oud note in it, it has a little bit of musk and the dry down. It's fabulous, okay? For $45, like, you can't beat it. it. Does lean a little bit masculine in my opinion, but if you're the type of person and you don't care about that, you wear whatever you like, I think you will really enjoy this one. Again, for the price point, this is a really, really good Oud fragrance. It's by Latafa and it is Oud for Glory. You can find it on Amazon. Moving on from the affordable Ouds, Let's talk about some ouds that are gonna be a little bit more expensive, okay? A little bit more pricier. The first one I wanna mention is Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Now, <laughs> I don't have that one in my collection, but I have went to Sephora 
and I have smelled that fragrance a thousand times and it is on my wish list, honey. It is probably one of the best oud fragrances I've ever smelled in my life. Now granted, I don't have a lot of oud fragrances in my collection. Here's why. I live in Texas. It's very hot, okay? I just don't see myself pulling for ouds that much and with the price point it just didn't make sense to me but eventually i will add oud uh wood into my collection not right now i would say the oud wood by tom ford leans extremely masculine in my opinion i'm not gonna even lie to you guys it smells very masculine get into the notes of tom ford's oud wood let me pop up a picture i want to make a mention of this Whenever you see something that says arg wood and then there's oud in like the quotations or whatever, parentheses or whatever, it's oud. Okay, so arg wood is just another word for oud. Don't let it confuse you. So there is oud, there's Brazilian rosewood, there's cardamom, sandalwood, vanilla, there is Sichuan pepper, there's vetiver, tonka, and amber. So from what I remember when I did smell this fragrance at Sephora, it is a very warm fragrance. It is spicy from the pepper. Um, it is very uh, masculine again. The oud is very much present in the oud wood. It is extremely sexy, you guys. I love it. Whenever I smell it, it just drives me crazy. It smells amazing on men. If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. If you have any in your collection, comment down below. Let the people know how you feel about it. It is an amazing scent, and it's definitely one that I see myself adding into my collection. Even though I don't know if I'm gonna pull for it a lot, I still want it. Now there is a dupe out and I've been seeing a lot of Latafa dupes, honey. Latafa is coming for everybody's necks, okay, and coin. So I do have that one coming and I will let you guys know I'm going to do a separate video doing a comparison of the real Tom Ford's Oud Wood. I'm going to try to get a sample from Sephora, honey, because I'm not buying it right now. But I will do a comparison of both of those fragrances when I get the Latafa dupe in. We're going to talk about it, okay? I could not do a video about Oud fragrances and not mention this fragrance it has to be mentioned it is one of the most beautiful ouds i have put my nose on to date and i'm sure there there are a lot of ouds out there i have not explored them all but this one i have explored okay up down side side round around honey i love this fragrance and this fragrance is all about the oud and the rose. This is absolutely a gorgeous scent. The notes in this fragrance include Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, vanilla, argwood, oud, violet, and benzoin. Man, this is gorgeous. I mean, this fragrance smells amazing. It is super soft. The, the oud in this fragrance is so beautiful and gorgeous. This one is gonna cost you upward of three and some change, okay? Somewhere in between three and four. You might be able to find it on different discount sites like Fragrance Net, Fragrance X, Fragrance Buy, places like that for a little bit cheaper, but it's gonna run you, it's gonna run you a nice coin. In my opinion, it is so worth it i mean if you have the coin to spend like you wanna you know what i'm saying like you getting into your big girl status okay your grown woman status you grown you getting into your grown man status okay you may make it a little coin now you know what i'm saying like 2023 is looking up for you <laughs> and you want to step your uh game up with your perfume with your fragrance then you might want to consider spinning that bag this is really gonna level you up okay this is gonna level you up for real for real man and trust me i ain't want to do it i ain't want to do it but oh my god this this is the best of the best honey it is amazing because i love this one so much this is one that i would wear midsummer night like a hot 
<laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Like a hot summer night, if I'm going out on a date, and this like date number three, number four, and we feeling each other, like we vibing, I might pull this out. Or I might pull out that Delina exclusive. Like, I ain't playing. This is just too good to sit on the shelf. Food Sad Mood by Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. He does have Oud Silk Mood. I do have a sample of that one. Oud Silk Mood didn't move me like Oud Sad Mood. I think Oud Silk Mood is beautiful, but it's not as sweet as Oud Sad Mood. Oud Sad Mood is a little bit sweeter for me. That's why I went with that one. Oud Silk Mood to me is more masculine. I also want to mention, I feel like Oud Satin Mood, this fragrance, I feel like Oud Satin Mood is very unisex. Anybody can rock this fragrance, to be honest with you, but that's why I went with this one over Oud Silk Mood. You definitely should go out and smell them for yourself. Get it on your skin, okay? That's gonna be the best way to test out these Oud fragrances. This one is new to the collection. I've only had it for probably mm, maybe like less than two months, okay? This is, I always have to look at the bottle to, to, to read it because it's such a long name. This is Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli 64. And the notes in this fragrance include vanilla, sur absolute, golden rum, creme brulee, brown sugar, royal oud, and sugared patchouli. This is one of the latest releases from Kayali. And I love it. I think it is an amazing oud. This is probably a really, really safe oud. Of all the fragrances I'm gonna mention in this video, this is probably gonna be the safest oud. And I, the reason why I say that is because of the dry down. The dry down turns more into like a a stronger vanilla 28 if you will okay even though i still stand by what i first said uh when i first reviewed the fragrance i don't get a lot of vanilla 28 in this fragrance i mean i pick up that sugary vanilla only in the dry down but at initial spray with this fragrance i pull a lot of rum i pull a lot of the um creme brulee and i pull a lot of the oud okay but i think the oud in this one at the price point i think the oud in this is really really good i would highly recommend it i think this would be great for men and women as well i think it is a beautiful unisex scent i think anybody can pull this fragrance off i and this one i want to say correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but I wanna say you can get this size bottle and this is the 1.7. I think you can get it for right at $100 or a little bit more than that, but it's it's in that $100 range, okay? Which I think is great, because again, when you're dealing with ouds, they can get a little bit pricey. But I would highly recommend this one. If you can go to Sephora and sample it, I would recommend you do that as well, because the rum, and the oud and the patch, all of those are strong notes within themselves. And they could probably be a little bit off-putting to someone that doesn't have a lot of experience with ouds. If you're that person, I would say do not blind buy this fragrance, okay? I would say sample it first, get it on your skin, wear it, see how you feel about it, and then if you love it, buy it. Next one is from the house of Mancera and it is gorgeous i've talked about it before and i absolutely love it i need to wear it more often to be honest with you i just made a decant for one of my besties and he loves it i didn't think that he would like it i thought that it would be a little bit too strong for him but honey he been wearing this fragrance out this is red tobacco by mancera and you guys this probably hands down like all of the ooze that i've been talking about are pretty damn sexy like I ain't even gonna lie they all are amazing okay and this one too like this one is just initially this one took me by surprise I wasn't ready I didn't know like I watched a few reviews on it people raved about it they talked about it they loved it blah 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 I was like you know what 
I was kind of in my oud era where I wanted to try new ouds in my collection and I just went ahead and purchased it. And when I first smelled it, I was like, what is this? Like, it had to grow on me. I'm not even gonna lie. And it could have been just one of those things where sometimes when you spray it a few times and you kind of let the air get in it and you let it sit for maybe like a month go back to it and it's, it's switched up on you it's even better i don't know if you guys do that with your fragrances but i started to do that little trick with my fragrances and it actually works in the red tobacco in the top you're gonna get cinnamon you're gonna get argwood oud you're gonna get saffron incense nutmeg green apple white pear in the mid, you're gonna get patchouli, jasmine. In the base, you're gonna get tobacco, vanilla, amber, guayac wood, musk, and Haitian vetiver. One thing I can say though, I don't really like about Mancera uh, caps is that they're like the little twist off caps. I, I don't care for that. I, I like to pop my top and spray and go, okay? So that is annoying, but it doesn't take away from the fact that I love the way the fragrance smells. Oh my God, this is so intoxicating. Okay, out of all the fragrances that I've talked about, this one has to be the most sexiest, even more sexier than Oud Satin Mood. Oud Satin, it's, they're two different types of sexy, okay? They're two different types of sexy. This one is hot, passionate, Oof, baby, rip your clothes off. Man, like hot. Did I say hot already? Get down to business. Sexy, okay? Initial smell, I pick up the cinnamon and the nutmeg, so I'm getting like the spice. I'm getting the saffron. Saffron it also is spicy to me. I don't get much incense, which I'm happy about because the tobacco in this thing is banging. I mean, it is, it is fire, okay? It is not, not in a bad way though. I don't wanna turn you guys off, but it is one of the sexiest tobacco fragrances I've smelled. I even would say this is sexier than Tom Ford's Tobacco Be Nil, to be honest with you. It's blended to perfection. It is perfection in my opinion. It's just simply gorgeous. And this would, surprisingly enough, this is one that I actually would pull in the summertime, nighttime wear. That I would wear it at night. I wouldn't wear it in the day. But even if I did, you know, decide to go crazy and wear it in the daytime, I think it will be fine. Because once this is dried down on my skin, it gets a little softer. Even on my friend, when he wore it the other day, we were together. And, and it smells super soft on him, but still holding that sex appeal. And that's what I love about this fragrance. Like I gotta get this in before it gets hot, like honestly, because it's just too good. It's too good. It does have a little bit of a powdery uh, note to it in the dry down that I'm picking up here, but it goes so well with the fragrance. I mean, this probably is top 10 of one of my favorite oud fragrances ever 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 it is simply amazing i can't talk about it enough you guys should definitely try it out this is again red tobacco from mancera you know what this next fragrance is more than likely i should just tell the truth this next fragrance is the strongest Ood I have in my collection. You talk about choke you out. You talk about wig snatching, socks being blown off, head explosion, nostril openings. It is a grenade. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm gonna call it. A freaking grenade. It's a grenade, okay? And I'm talking about wild carrot oud from Boho Boco. This fragrance is not for the faint of hearts. This fragrance is not for the faint of heart. This fragrance is not for children, okay? This is for that individual who really 
doesn't care about, well, maybe they do. They just don't care about other people's opinions of what fragrance they wear. This is for the person who gives absolutely zero, okay? None. When I first smelled it, I didn't know what, what, what the what. I was like, wow, wow. And usually with boho boco fragrances, like I know I'm gonna get something unique. I know I'm gonna get something different, something extraordinary, something, and I look forward to it. I do because at this point in the game, a lot of fragrances have started to become redundant. Like I feel like I'm smelling the same things over and over again. And that's why I love Boho Boco fragrances because they always hit me with something different. Baby, they knocked me over the head with this one. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. In Wild Carrot Oud in the top, you get carrot, cinnamon, bergamot in the mid, you get dry wood, you get argwood, oud, you get cedar, tobacco in the base, you get earthy notes, leather, and something called Styrax. I cannot explain to you what Styrax is. I don't know what Styrax is, but it is explosive, okay? It is explosive. It looks something uh, like a resin to me, okay? And that's the thing. Like, Boho Boco had audacity when they made this one. Like, they, and I love people with audacity. They had audacity. Not only did you put oud in here, okay, you put leather. Leather is another note that I sometimes struggle with, and it can be very loud, kind of like oud. It can be kind of off putting sometimes, and things like that, you know. I don't have a lot of leather in my collection either. I, like, I don't have a lot of ouds. In addition to the leather though, we have maybe some resins. I'm gonna say Styrax is a resin because it looks much, very much like a stone of some sort. And I'm gonna say that's a resin. Resins to me come off uh, not necessarily oudy. And to my nose, they come off smelling more like incense. Sometimes they come out smelling like an ambery type of thing. They can come out smelling a little spicy, a little smoky. There is something very smoky in this fragrance. I have not reached for this fragrance in a while, um, but now that I'm smelling it, I get, I get a smoky smell. And not so much like a wood burning smell. It's kind of more, and not a cigar smell, it's a little bit more like a cigarette type of smell, okay? Which I'm not mad at, I'm not mad at it though, but I do, I do wanna give this fragrance another spray. I haven't sprayed it in such a long time. Two sprays may have been too much, okay? All right. Man, okay. I am trying to collect my thoughts. <laughs> Literally smelling this, I feel like my whole vocabulary has been washed away with one sniff of this spray. Like, I, get the words together, Amanda. Like, come on, get it out, get it out. Okay, it is strong. It is explosive. It is extremely smoky. It is earthy. It is extremely unique. Do I get carrot? No, I get oud, I get smoke, I get earth, like deep down earth, okay? I mean like we buy, we buy, you know, when you, when you get to the part of the earth where you, you surpass the grass and the, the dry parts of the earth and you get really deep down in the earth and the earth starts to feel moist. That's what I'm getting from this fragrance. I get a, a, a moist, almost moist, earthy, smoky, dry, um, oody fragrance. That's what I'm picking up. I would have to layer this with something and I, don't, I can't even begin to think of what I could layer this with. If I wore this, honestly, people would think that um, I probably smoke like weed or something like that. I'm a smoker, like I'm a smoker. 
so I would have to be very mindful where I wear this fragrance like and I'm not a smoker but if I was going to like a cigar bar or if I was going to somewhere where people were going to be maybe smoking hookah or something like that open airy space okay I would definitely not wear this where I'm gonna be like inside closed in restaurant type of atmosphere I would definitely not wear this to the movies where there's gonna be like close encounters people are gonna be sitting front back side of you all around you like no no I don't think people would really be able to enjoy the movie and it would be all my fault I'm just gonna say this is a very unique fragrance um extremely masculine okay this is extremely masculine there's nothing unisex in my opinion about this fragrance it's very masculine so I could see an older gentleman wearing this fragrance to be honest with you if I wear it again I'm gonna have to layer it with something I would I don't know what he like um uh I don't know y'all I don't no, maybe something sweet, maybe something a little bit uh, fruity. I don't know. I would have to play around with this fragrance and see what I could, you know, layer with this fragrance to actually make it work for me. But this is one of the most, this is the strongest oud I have in my collection. And I don't want to give it a, I don't want to give it away because it's extremely unique and I'm very, very much into unique scents. And I feel like at some point this is going, I'm going to wear this fragrance. I just got to figure out the when and the where, okay? The when and the where, like when it, when that day happens, I'm going to go, aha, this is a moment for wild carrot oud this and that's when I'm gonna wear the fragrance. I don't necessarily think that this is something that I would buy on my own, but I'm happy to have it because again, it's extremely different, it's extremely unique, and I just, it's not a love for me, but I like it in a weird way, in a very weird way. But I, I am a type of person, I am the type of person though, who likes weird scents. That's a different video for another day. <laughs> Oods are very much in. I was at a gathering and uh, the lady was like, yeah, I love Oods, I love Oods. And I just, I'm starting to like hear people talk about Oods a lot more. And I was like, okay, this is gonna be like the next train. There's gonna be an era of Oods. But I get your pocketbooks ready though, y'all. Like I'm telling you, get your coins ready because Oods are very much expensive, okay? Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite oud fragrance is. I am curious to know if we share similarities and likeness of fragrances. Let me know what oud you think I should put my nose on down below in the comments. If you're someone who is a lover of fragrances, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any upcoming videos that I put out. If you enjoyed today's video, I would love for you to give it a big thumbs up. Share it, whatever you like. Tell your man about it. Tell your girl about it. Tell your mommy, your daddy, and them. Share it with everybody you know, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. I hope you are having a fabulous day and I hope you are smelling good doing it. I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.